Hi everybody, I am too old for toys and this is a review of the Star Wars Power of the Force Darth Vader and my favourite Darth Vader that I own. This was released around 1997-98. I think it was around the time when George Lucas decided to revamp his original Star Wars trilogy and added additional special effects and what have you. So Kenner started pumping out new Star Wars figures and they're completely new sculpts. Size comparisons with a tin of pop. It's quite a bit smaller than a tin of pop. I don't have the original packing with him, obviously, but it was um, a blister pack with a card backing and it had the green colored lightsaber on the background. It comes with one of these freeze frame action slides. Now this isn't the one which came with Darth. Uh, I can't find that one, unfortunately. But this one does feature Darth Vader in the background. So it's like a colour slide transparency or a movie frame. I don't have a photo slide projector so I've never been able to test this out. That's all I have of the packaging left over. That slide's got to be somewhere. It's a shame I couldn't find it for the review. Now I find this to be, at the time, this was the most awesome Darth Vader figure ever to be produced. It's been surpassed since then but it's still a favorite of mine. Why? The sculpt is just beautiful! Search your feelings. You know it to be true. I am your father. Give him a quick 360 of him. So he has a removable cape. It's uh, flexible, vinyl. He has this other back flap here, which I didn't realize that he had until I got this figure. Quick look at the sculpted detail under the cape even. They didn't have to do all this, but I appreciate that they did. Check out the detailed paint apps. The instrument panel on his chest, his utility belt, for lack of a better name. And if we have a look at his feet, it will reveal that he's made by Kenner and made in China in 1997, Lucasfilm Limited. So he has the usual Star Wars action figure articulation we've come to expect. Also, which was new for me compared to the old school figures that I had, he has a swivel waist and because of this belt and back flap arrangement it's actually a separate piece so you can see that this lower torso can twist independently and the upper torso is independent of the belt the arms move up and down this arm is a fixed pose but this one in another groundbreaking feature has a cut joint just above the elbow and also has a swivel wrist And his head will move left and right in a normal action figure type way. And what's special about this one is that this was what really sold it for me. Oh. It's the first time that a Darth Vader figure has had this feature. And here we can see Anakin in all his lava scarred glory. This is a pretty good likeness of when he revealed himself to Luke at the end of Return of the Jedi. Look at the scarring on the top of his head. That is a nasty gash. The details are carried on through the paint apps on the brace on the back of his neck. Yeah, that is a horrible scar. Being a Darth Vader figure is cool enough, but to have a removable helmet as well, awesome. And the best thing is, you pop his helmet back on, and you can't really tell that he has that gimmick underneath it. It's not as if his head is overly huge or anything like that. And another good one, I'm just going to remove his 
lightsaber. At the end of Jedi, he gets his hand chopped off by Luke. Another first. So, this guy's just a blast from the past. And he holds his lightsaber very nicely. It's just a very cool figure. I love it. I'm sure the newer figures are better articulated than this, but I'm very happy with the sculpt of this one as it is. I don't really like the cloaks when they're done in fabric. I think this one looks better. So there you have it. Darth Vader with removable helmet and lightsaber. Until next time. May the Force be with you, always.